Hello, this is Alexander Cross, criminal attorney here in the San Francisco Bay Area. Be sure to subscribe to our channel, Law Offices of Cross and Associates, if you would like to learn more, if you want to ask some questions. So we received an interesting inquiry here on our channel. Let's see. So this has to do with uh, photographing underage children. My boyfriend's work computer had many photos of semi-naked little girls. The police arrested him. What can happen? Quite a bit. First of all, we're talking about, um, let's talk about the photos. Let's say somebody's in a public place, uh, in a place where there's no expectation of privacy at a park or something like that, and you're taking pictures of kids. I uh, shouldn't do that, but it's not a crime. However, when you're talking about being in possession of pictures of kids where they're semi-nude or nude in a sexually suggestive manner, now we're talking about a violation of Penal Code Section 311.11. This is a felony. Possession of child pornography. This carries up to three years state prison plus having to register as a sex offender for life. Now the best defense in a situation like this is that, well, it's his work computer. Maybe somebody else had access to this computer. Maybe this computer is old enough that multiple employees have used it. Just because it's, you know, he's the one that's currently using it doesn't mean he necessarily was the one who was downloading those things. So they have to look, they have to check out. It's not just enough to look at the pictures. You also have to look at uh, when the pictures are being viewed. You also have to look at the IP address of the computer uh, to see when those pictures were being downloaded. All of these things need to be looked at. How long has the boyfriend been working there? Maybe he really didn't do it and was just working on a computer that happened to have child porn on it and he had no idea those files were even in the damn computer. So all those things need to be looked at. It's going to have to be thoroughly investigated. You're probably going to have to get a forensic uh, analyst of the, you know, to, to verify all these things. But if, in fact, it can be shown that he was the one who was downloading the content, and if it looks like he, um, let's say there's no, he has no way out. Maybe there's a video of him even watching the porn. Okay, okay, okay. Well, in a situation like that, that's when you have to approach the DA. You have to say, hey, look, uh, yeah, you got him. You got the recordings. He clearly committed the offense. You know, and in a situation like that, the best that you could hope for is to avoid a state prison sentence and get it down to county jail. Um, now, 311 point, 311 point, under 311.11, you're going to have to still register as a sex offender. In, a certain, in certain situations, you may be able to get a modification of the charges to a different code so that you could avoid the sex registration. But like I said before, this all has to do with this, you know, case by case basis. They're going to look at what the ages of the children or their videos of toddlers. I mean, how re how extensive does this thing go? I mean, because if you're looking at, you know, if somebody's looking at five year old, then at that point, forget it. I mean, you have to be realistic about this. You know, lawyers are not magicians. All right, in a situation like that, best you could hope for is avoiding a state prison sentence. But the county, J um, but the uh, avoiding a state prison sentence, but the sex registration, oh, that's definitely going to be on the table there. Regardless of that, if you'd like to learn more about criminal law here in the San Francisco Bay Area, be sure to subscribe to our channel, Law Offices of Cross and Associates. But if you've been accused of a crime and need representation in court, be sure to give us a call at 1-800-862-7677. Once again, one 800 862 Seven six seven seven. The next video that we're going to be making is going to have to do with the report of a theft. See you then.